Hello, we're just starting day three, which is super exciting. Today we're going to be going to visit Atlas, and Atlas discovered the Higgs boson in 2012, which is super cool. Um, scientists were looking for this particle for ages, and then in 2012 it was discovered. Yeah, welcome to CERN. So CERN, as you all know, stands for the Council European Research Nuclear, which in English means the European Organization for Nuclear Research. And as in its name, CERN is mainly focused on doing nuclear research, but it also has to branch out to do particle physics research. So what particle physics and nuclear physics really is, is about trying to understand how the fundamental particles work and how they interact with each other. Basically how the entire universe works and yeah, and all that cool stuff because we are humans and are very curious. So there's many ways you can try to figure out how the universe works. One of them is by trying to see what the universe is exactly made of by doing what kids do and that is to smash protons together or smash blocks to figure out what they're made of. And this is what we do primarily here at CERN using the LHC, which is the Large Hadron Collider. The Large Hadron Collider is the big ring underground that's 100 meters underground that collides protons for us, but the results of those collisions are observed by detectors and experiments like the ATLAS experiment behind us right now. So the ATLAS experiment is one of the largest collaborations in CERN. It has 5,000 members, 5,000 members and 3,000 scientists, which is quite a lot of people. And their main um, poster child is the ATLAS detector right here behind us. So the ATLAS detector is a particle physics detector and its main thing is to observe what happens when two particles uh, when two protons collide because when you want to do physics with particle collisions and what happens when you collide two protons you need to know a few things you need to know where the resulting particles are you need to know how much energy they have and you need to know what kind of particle they are that is what the atlas detector is specifically designed to do The Atlas tour, it was really interesting. I think my interesting fact is that Atlas is just as heavy as the Eiffel Tower and it was huge as well. So um, hopefully we got the size over on the videos, but um, yeah, it was really good. I really enjoyed it. So that's the end of the CERN tour. We really hope you enjoyed and make sure you like and subscribe and we'll continue to enjoy sunny Geneva. Uh, so see you later, bye.